Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Total Tank Generals, a new turn-based strategy and war game out by the folks from Noobs from Poland, uh, published by 505 Games, and this is part four of our Let's Play series looking at the Soviet campaign. Uh, this is the Battle of Stalingrad. We're still in the early phases, and eff effectively this is Operation Uranus. So the Soviet campaign starts with the battle and counterattack near Moscow. The second battle in the campaign is the counterattack at Stalingrad. So the Germans are deep into the city of Stalingrad. Their flank is exposed, and we are able to try and counterattack and perhaps destroy their forces in the city. Now, we have gotten off to an early start in this battle where things have not been going super great uh, we did manage to take a key airfield on the right flank which opened up the ability for us to call in air units uh, for our own air attacks which is a nice i like the way they handle air combat in this game um, but our attacks on the left have been met with much more german resistance and we've lost pretty heavy casualties so the battle is far from decided so far uh, and we're going to pick things up here now this uh video was taken from a twitch live stream which was sponsored uh, by the developers of the game. So uh, this content was taken from a sponsored stream. Uh, today's video itself is not strictly speaking sponsored. Um, so I don't, you know, whatever. Keep that in mind. It was sponsored. This video itself is is not sponsored, uh, but I wanted to post it because I did enjoy my time with the game uh, during the stream, and uh, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without finishing up this battle, and I want to know what you guys want. Like, like do you want to see more of this game? Because I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the battle. We'll pick things up at this point where we left off, and um, I'll catch you guys at the end. Good on the defense. Take that. Bunker Buster. Each attack will remove more entrenchment level. Close defense. Or what's Boogeyman? One morale from its target each attack. Uh, let's do Bunker Buster. Those Italian tanks... We have a 23% chance of a successful assault with that infantry unit alone. But let's just dig in. All right. So there's still a lot of German units around here, but we did, uh, I think we took a little bit of, uh, we got, we took a little steam out of them. All right, there goes that. I'm glad they at least used their Stukas on my already nearly dead light tank. And now they're trying to attack into a place I just fortified and we're inflicting heavy casualties on them. Also, why this lone infantry unit's attacking a, a, a hex with three, I don't know. But we leveled up and got that unit back to full strength. Enemy armor is moving against our dug-in troops in the corner of Stalingrad. I feel like in a lot of these turn-based games, this would be like one of those designs where you have to hold that spot or you lose the battle. Um, but I don't, again, I don't see any indication that that is the case. Oh God, not my T-34s. I can't, I can't build new units with them yet. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. No! That hurt. All right, can we? These guys can't reinforce, actually, now that I think about it, because they can't, because there's enemy troops adjacent to them now. All right, we got that enemy infantry off our back. Destroyed it. Our heavy infantry versus their tanks. So they're gonna, if they want to attack this dug in position, they're gonna pay for it. And I'm, I'm glad that they divert their attention. Really need to take a point so I can get more prestige. All right, we finished off that enemy infantry. Our 
surviving T-34 will obliterate that enemy armor. We will take one of the main strategic points and get a little bit of prestige. Not really enough to make a big difference, but it's something. The enemy has artillery down this way. Let's reinforce these tanks that are almost dead. We've already lost enough units. We're going to cross the river. Maybe we can knock out some of this enemy artillery next turn that's doing us some pain. Can't do anything with it now because you, when you move across the river, you lose your uh, movement points or your action points. We could hit him with artillery, but screw it. Let's finish off because then we might finish that other infantry unit. We did. So we destroyed that other infantry unit. We'll move these guys forward a hex. This level 11 artillery is going to go for the enemy already. I'm assuming they're going to move that artillery. If I was them, I would. Because it's vulnerable to counter battery fire, which I'm doing now and nearly destroying it, actually. Let's move the recon vehicle up here. Knock out this enemy artillery if we can. We did. Nice. So we've got another airfield and a minor objective adjacent to us that is empty as well. I don't have the movement points with any of my units to move forward, but happy with that result. Digging at the airfield again. We gotta hold that airfield. So we're going to clear the side of the river. I don't know if any enemy reinforcements come in, can come in over there. I'm going to buy more infantry, frankly. Do I have any? I, I've deployed everything, right? Like, the assault infantry would be useful. But honestly, at this point, I just I need more. So I can buy two regular infantry for the price of an assault infantry. Plus two. We're not going to get a brilliant. Like, we're not going to get into Stalingrad there in the next three turns or two turns or whatever it is. But again, we could win another victory. Just not, not the victory we necessarily want. All right, let's end that turn. This is Uranus. So Operation Uranus, the counterattack at Stalingrad, we're playing as the Soviets. They're going to keep going for those dug-in troops. That attack went better for them. Again, there's no indication this is a must-hold objective. I'm a little confused on why they're putting so much effort to it. All right, they're going to drop Artie on the adjacent hex, which is just fine with me. They're also going to drop... Oh, they got one of our units and some of our entrenchments. Well, these guys are going to probably get overrun here, but they're at least doing their... Ooh, nice. Actually, by retreating, they let me reinforce them. Okay. Re-dig re in, boys. We've also got air power available to us this turn. And we will get more prestige if we take this next objective down here. Let's advance the, the armor needs more ammo. 
All right, replenish yourself. They both replenished? I just wanted the one, not the whole hex. All right, let's hit the enemy. Oh, those are flat guns? Yeah. Oh, we destroyed it. Holy shit. Pardon my language. I was a little bit surprised. Holy cow! <laughs> Alright, let's assault this enemy uh, artillery. 100% chance of success. We didn't actually do as much damage as I would have thought. Let's assault him again. Alright, they're pretty much out of ammo and also not happy, so that's good. Um, Alright, we'll hit these enemy tanks in the open. We'll advance our troops and take this next hex. Nice. Okay, so we took... I think all of the enemy airfields. So that's a good result. Assuming we can hold them. Let's advance some of our armor up here. There are dug-in enemy troops up this way. But that's the good thing about having Artie, frankly. Kind of. Rick, it's it's definitely that old it's definitely that classic World War II turn based style. How many air points do I have now? Ten. Plus six every turn. Which can do what? Paradrop deploys a paratrooper unit, not targeted on the hex. Does not count toward capacity limit. So we could get a free paratrooper unit, or we could strategic bomb some stuff. Or we could do some dive bombing. So like we could hit this armored unit, maybe destroy some more enemy units. We could hit the uh, mortar that's in the open. Let's do that. Let's see if we can destroy another enemy unit for free. Close. Alright, um, strat bomb, this objective, it'll get rid of some other entrenchments. That looks like a B-17. It's not, but it looks like one. Alright, we'll save the remaining two. Resupply that infantry before moving them forward. Move our mortars forward and finish them off with a mortar attack, maybe? Nope. Right. I want to take this other secondary objective. I'm surprised we didn't get any prestige points for taking the airfields. I guess they were not secondary targets. level up some stuff. End our turn. Do they even have any? They're going to do a strategic bombing raid. Our anti-aircraft nearly shoot them down, and they do very little damage here. What airfield? They have one airfield left. Also, they are maybe moving some troops across the river. It looks like there's a question mark up here. Are these fighters? It looks like those are maybe air superiority. 
which would make us using our air power less less ideal. Um, what's, what, can I already do anything? They're almost out of ammo, but. Let's hit this entrenched position at the entryway to the, uh, city. Enemy Italian infantry. All right, we captured them. We get some prestige for capturing them. We'll assault this position next turn. Alright, so that already was very effective for us. Get these enemy troops in the open. Can't imagine they've got enough air points to keep that pressure up. I'm going to pull one infantry back just to hold this position. Got to have some troops here as well. I don't think anyone's going to come from the left flank, so we'll just advance here. I don't know if there's a max, like, limit of air power. So we can always just save it up, potentially, and hit them next turn. Right, let's move our troops here. Is anybody going to... Doesn't look like there was any overwatch for us taking this objective, so we got another secondary objective. I don't know if there's any enemy anti- any air defense over these objectives over here. Light infantry, light infantry. What's up here? Oh shit. Well, they've dug in in the open, so I'm not not too worried about them. They don't seem to be ready to go at me. All right, what should we buy with 400 points? Support. Tanks? All we can do is light tanks, which is not not useful. Put the assault troops in the front line. Okay, we'll end the turn once we upgrade our stuff. We got a lot of level ups. All right, end turn seven, moving to eight. We've got four or five more turns. We don't have that many more hexes to cover and I get the sense the enemy, they still have a fair number of troops, but I do get the sense they're kind of starting to run low. It's kind of what it seems like. Also, these attacks up in the Northeast really don't make a lot of sense to me. The enemy is wasting a lot of their strength against some infantry units of mine that are really doing nothing for the actual battle. They do still have at least one artillery unit here. Two turns for the major, yeah. Can we assault them? No chance of success. Alright, well we'll use the assault infantry then 
to weaken them. And then... Well, it's still only a 34% chance, so I guess we'll just attack individually and weaken them that way. percent chance. Yeah, we'll do that now. Captured! And the Italians surrender. Shocking. Alright, get a recon truck. Out this way. We have 14 air power. Time to flatten some boys. Oh, they do have any aircraft fire. It missed, though. Thank goodness. So I'm assuming we weaken, we at least weaken their morale. We're going to resupply those that artillery. These guys are going to bombard. The mortars are going to bombard. And their defenses are basically shattered. And they're retreating. So we'll move our armor forward here. Launch an assault. Maybe not quite yet. Let's do a... There's another entrenchment here, but there's no troops there. I guess we'll take the risk of another air attack here. Let's just do a tactical strike. Saves a little bit of our air air power. We did lose a fair bit of strength there. But our odds are very good of a successful assault, so we'll do that. 80% chance. Oh no! Shows what I know. Alright, they're gonna do some damage to our troops as we move into the hex adjacent to the Stalingrad objective. Move our armor into the city. Move our artillery forward and get these guys into the fight. I don't know that there's going to be a lot of fight left for us to do anything with, but get them into the fight nominally at least. Let's go take that last enemy airfield if there's no one there. There we go. More air power available to us. I don't know if there's a limit on how many times the enemy can shoot at your aircraft. Let's try. Let's see. Presumably the anti-aircraft has some amount of limit on its uh, number of times it can shoot. It's got to run out of ammo or something. But we're weakening the defenses. We get eight more points next turn, so might as well use what we got. up there so I think we will take Stalingrad next turn suppose the enemy could move their armor back to face us they probably should have done that already Alright, we nearly destroyed that armored unit and drove it back with its tail between its legs. We'll damage that enemy infantry there. And... Let's just hit these guys. Okay, I think we're ready for the final assault to begin next turn. So let's end the turn, and then we'll uh, we'll get another major victory. Probably we won't get a uh, brilliant victory. I am no brilliant commander, but I'm a I'm a competent commander. Yes, the campaigns are fixed. Lost memory. 
So you go from one battle to the next. There's not like a dynamic tree as far as I've seen any indication. Man, they really hurt that artillery there. Or anti-air. Wow, they did they just destroy it? I think I just got one of my more experienced units destroyed because I was not smart. Alright, we'll assault there. Oh, there's another minor objective over that way, huh? Missed? You had a zero to four chance and you missed? All right, strat bomb, let's just finish this thing. All right, victory should be anyway. There you go, another major victory, two stars and nine turns. It unlocks the T-70 and the T-34-76B. We did not unlock the SU-85 tank destroyer. Uh, we earned 1,600 prestige, so less than last time, I believe. 12 enemy units lost, or 12 friendly units lost, 23 enemy units lost, 2,800 XP, and uh, there you go. The success of Operation Uranus can be considered as the turning point of the Battle of Stalingrad. The surrounded forces of General Friedrich Paulus's 6th Army have found themselves in a miserable spot, and their surrender is becoming more and more inevitable with each grueling week. Stalingrad is the second major city besides Moscow, defended by troops under Georgi Zhukov's command, which managed to successfully repel enemy forces. As it stands, Leningrad is the only remaining large metropolitan area in danger of German capture. And there you go. Victory at Operation Uranus. So major victories in both of the first two battles of the um, Soviet campaign. The next battle is Operation Iskara, which, as I said earlier, I was not sure what that was. But it looks like the, the following battle is actually a fight to uh, break the siege of Leningrad. You can see here that Leningrad... Well, uh, you can see Leningrad's got those little blue line, blue with a white check through it, which basically indicates that there is only the uh, lake, it's Lake Lagoda, right? Uh, which uh, is sort of the only avenue for supplies into Leningrad at this point, uh, and that's only when the lake freezes over. Um, and so Leningrad is under siege, uh, and uh, Operation Iskar will break the siege and allow the uh, Soviets to secure that major city as well. So the relief of uh, the relief of Leningrad. Um... So that'll be the third mission in the Soviet campaign. There are six missions in the Soviet campaign. I'm not sure. Are there six in every campaign? Oh, we're going to jump into... I got to gotta listen to the Rommel thing. I was curious if every campaign had the same amount. To save you the suspense, they do. Each campaign does have 12... Or sorry, six uh, battles in it. And uh, there is a Rommel campaign, a Patton campaign, and a Georgi Tsukov campaign. So they really focus around battles of individual generals rather than just nations. Um, the Rommel campaign starts in France and goes to North Africa. Uh, the uh, Georgi Tsukov campaign starts uh, right before Moscow and then goes to Berlin. Um, and I'm not quite sure where the Patton one starts. I'm assuming North Africa uh, through uh, through to the conclusion of the war in the West. Uh, with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy uh, our look at Total Tank Generals. And let me know if you want to see more of this. I actually enjoyed playing it quite a bit. Um, I know the, the first three videos in the series were sponsored, but uh, regardless of the fact that I was paid for it, um, I actually enjoyed it, and I'd be happy to play it more if that's something you guys want to see more of. Uh, we also will be returning to the Great War Western Front. I'm still going to be returning to my Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought series as well, uh, and so there's uh, a lot of different things I want to I wanna take care of and, and do on the channel. Um, there's a lot of a lot of games coming around out around these days. Uh, I think uh, the, the new Sergeant Drill Instructor game is also coming out 
uh, on the 3rd of April if this hasn't already posted by then. But that's enough of this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts below. And uh, as always, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.